In this video, we're going to discuss what amount of force you need to apply to the end of a crowbar in order to lift a rather large object. Notice the problem at the top of the screen. What force must be applied to the end of a 2 meter long crowbar in order to lift a 500 newton rock if the fulcrum of the bar is 0.5 meters from the rock? Often I like to draw a picture when I look at these problems so that it helps me understand kind of what's going on in the, pic in the problem. And then it helps me to determine if my answer is reasonable in the end. So I've drawn here a crowbar with a fulcrum. And on one end I'm going to place the 500 Newton rock. I'm going to draw an arrow to represent the force of the rock acting down. And then my distance from the fulcrum to the rock is 0.5 meters. My force is going to be applied at the other end of the lever, and I don't know how much force I'm going to need to apply, so I'm going to label it x. That's what I'm going to find. If the whole length of the crowbar is 2 meters, and the distance from the rock to the fulcrum is half a meter, then that leaves the distance from the fulcrum to the force being applied to be 1.5 meters. So now I have a picture to represent what's happening in the problem. We've learned that the work of the input force has to equal the amount of work done in the output force. And the formula for work is force times distance. So the force of the input times the distance of the input must equal the force of the output times the distance of the output. <clears throat> now we just need to substitute values. My input force represents how much I'm going to exert on the crowbar to lift the rock. So I don't know that force, so I'm going to put in an x. Then I'm going to use a dot for time so I don't get confused. And the distance of the force that I'm exerting from the fulcrum is 1.5 meters. So I'm going to insert that. The force out would be the output force, which is the rock that we're going to try to move. It is 500 newtons times the distance out. The distance from the output force to the fulcrum is 0.5 meters. So if I multiply these, I get 1.5 x meters equals 250 newton meters because the newtons times meters. Now, in order to figure out my output force, which is x, or my input force, I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing, my input force x, I need to divide by 1.5 meters. So x, which represents my input force, equals 166.67 newtons. Again, if we're discussing significant figures, we have one significant figure. So if you're doing significant figures, then your answer would be 200 newtons. But I am not a big fan of the significant figures because that's a lot of rounding for me. So I would like to see two places after the decimal. So for my students, 166.67 newtons is uh, the correct answer. <clears throat> 